Hi everyone, welcome back to another business analysis video. In today's video, we're tackling a topic that could make a huge difference in your career trajectory, interviewing skills. So we're diving straight into it. Skill number one is research and preparation. Before you even step foot into the interview room, you should know the company's mission, its culture, and any recent achievements like the back of your hand, okay? It's more than just a cursory glance at the company's homepage. You want to dive into the company's social media, into their press releases, and any relevant news articles. So this is part of preparation because being well prepared shows that genuine interest and can help to tailor your answers to align with the company's values is very, very important. Okay, so take a look at this now. I'm on the Business Analyst School About Us page where I can find lots of valuable information that I can bring up during the interview. It talks about the founder, which is me, right? So you really learn about the founder's unique journey, the company's dedication to helping professionals to transition into the field of business analysis and its educational philosophy, really. Uh, understanding how the company started and what it's trying to do, what are the values, the goals. Understanding these stories will provide you with rich insight to discuss during your interview. So for instance, you could be asked in interview, how does our company's mission resonate with you as a business analyst? And you could answer, I was inspired by how business analyst school empowers career changes without the need for traditional credentials. Reflecting on my own belief in continuous learning and adaptability. So if that sort of question comes up in interview, that's a sort of answer that you can give if I was interviewing you to become uh, an employee in as part of business analyst school. There are other potential questions that could come up as well. For example, here, based on what you know about our company, how do you see yourself contributing to the goals as an organization once you're employed as a business analyst or if you're successful um, in this interview. They could also ask what aspect of our success or what aspect of the company's success stories resonated with you the most and why. Uh, they could also ask can you tell us what you know about this company and its mission and how do you answer these questions is by exploring their website, exploring their social media, exploring the articles and public articles to help you really, really be able to answer the question effectively. So the level of detail in your preparation can set you apart as a candidate who does their homework and who understands the company's core values. This is really, really important. Now moving on to skill number two, which is active listening. Active listening, this isn't just about hearing what the interview is saying. It's not just about hearing the interviewer's words. It's about understanding the underlying questions and responding thoughtfully. Nodding, maintaining eye contact and asking clarifying questions are all part of active listening. When you're nodding, please don't nod <laughs> so fast. Nod slowly also shows body language that you're really, really listening to what they're saying and you're taking it all in. While uh, we all sometimes start rehearsing our responses while other people um, are talking, it can be counterproductive to effective communication. So you really want to listen fully to what the person is saying rather than rehearsing in your head what your answer would be. Let's explore some active listening with a common interview question for business analysts and a thoughtful response. So imagine the interviewer asks, how do you manage in conflicting priorities as a business analyst? You're listening to what they're saying. As you're listening, you're not just waiting for your turn to speak, but you're considering what is behind the question. And in this case, they're looking for your organizational and prioritization skills, really. So you're trying to understand really what do they mean by conflicting priorities. They're really trying to understand your organization and prioritization skills. How do you prioritize your work and 
how organized as you as a business analyst so a thoughtful response might be if you want to clarify what they're saying i understand the importance of prioritizing tasks based on their impact and urgency could you give me an example of the types of conflicts i might encounter in this role so you want to make it conversational you don't want to make it back and forth you ask question i answer you ask question i answer you want to clarify show that you're listening right so you see how the response that i just gave shows that active engagement and it invites the interviewer to share more details about the questions that they've asked which can in effect help you to give a more tailored answer so remember that active listening is about creating a dialogue showing that you're engaged and that you're processing the information and not just reciting the answers that you've prepared prior to the interview now the third skill is articulating your value as a business analyst it's not just about listing your qualifications it's about telling a compelling story of how your experiences make you the ideal candidate for the position so you want to sell yourself for every answer that you give um, from the question that they ask you want to use the star method which stands for situation task action and results use that to structure your responses into impactful stories so you want to tell a story give them a real life example of answers to the questions that they've asked you so now let's break down the star method with an example so imagine you are asked tell me about a time when you had to manage a difficult stakeholder this question comes up it will come up on every interview question for business analysts so anyway here's how you could structure your answer First, let's determine what the situation is. In my last role, we were developing a new software feature and one of the key stakeholders was resistant to the proposed changes. So you've presented the situation. What exactly is, the, is that problem? And the next thing is the task. My responsibility was to ensure stakeholder buying without compromising the project scope. We've looked at the task. Now, what was your action? What action did you take to solve that uh, situation? I organized a series of one-on-one -on -one meetings to address the stakeholders' concerns, presenting use cases and gathering feedback. I then facilitated a workshop where the stakeholder could directly interact with the development team to discuss uh, the features, benefits and concerns so we've covered the sda the action and now finally the results from the situation the task the action you perform what was the result this open dialogue helped to align expectations and ultimately the stakeholder not only approved the feature but also became one of its strongest advocates ensuring a smoother project rollout so notice how the response touches on your interpersonal skills, your communication and your stakeholder management. All these are vital competencies for a business analyst. So you've literally just sold yourself, sold your value to the interviewer. Now, I want you to know that these three interviewing skills that I've presented are just the tip of the iceberg, but mastering them can significantly boost your interview performance. So to recap, research and preparation, active listening and articulating your value, work on these skills and you will watch your career take off. Work on these skills when you have interviews coming up for business analyst role. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and share it with friends who might be on the job hunt. If you have an interview coming up, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about it and support you on your journey. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.